Hi, welcome to this video tutorial of BC. In this video, I will show you the relationship matrix functionality, new in BC 3.0. The relationship matrix provides a powerful way of analyzing your architecture repository by finding derived relationships across all your models. Let's see how it works. Go to the extensions menu and select BC, and then BC relation matrix. This opens the BC relations matrix window. The first thing is to select the elements we want to see on our columns and rows. In this case, we want to see how changes to some infrastructure elements affect different roles in the organization. As you can see, the element types we can select are the core Archimate elements. So let's start by selecting a few of the relevant infrastructure objects. Next, we'll select the models to include. And in this case, let's select the entire ADM example project we have. Next, go to the Columns tab and select the role. And then again, we need to select the models we want to choose from. So we select the ADM example project. As we can see here in the preview, we will have six rows and 16 columns. The result is the following table with infrastructure element as rows and the roles as columns. Let's start by hiding some empty columns where there were no relationship founds. As you can see, each arrow has a number related to it. The number represents how many relationships there are between the elements. Let's take a look at the matrix by clicking on one of them. This one seems to have four relationship between the elements. Let's right click at it and start by selecting preview relation. Here we can see how the ERP servers are linked to the product management personnel through the ERP system the ERP application services, and the business process in which the product management personnel works. As you can see, there are four relationships between the roles and the infrastructure elements. We can also decide to create this diagram. It doesn't exist in the database right now, but we can generate it automatically by selecting the Create Diagram for Relation. And this is what the diagram looks like. As you can see, this is a powerful way of analyzing the information you have in your architecture repository. Okay. This summarizes the main functionality of the relationship matrix, new in BC 3.0. Thanks for watching.